Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. And Amber, those roadways are starting to back up now as more mm -hmm. folks are getting out and trying to go here and there. But we know that the rain may slow some folks down, especially here across the Tennessee Valley, mm -hmm. because we're dealing with it right now and yeah. we'll see multiple rounds through the weekend. So if you have some plans, don't worry, I got your forecast for you. Let's go ahead and take a look outside at our Way 31 Sky Cam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. You can see those raindrops on the lens of the camera over in Muscle Shoals. You're dealing with some rainfall. The rain is slow slowly moving through the Tennessee Valley, so everyone will see the rain before the day is said and done. This is round one. We'll see another round as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Your current temperatures, though, you can tell where it's raining because over in Sand Mountain, you haven't seen the rain yet, so you're still in the 80s. But across the metro, 69 degrees right now in Athens, 72 in Decatur, 76 degrees in Huntsville, 70 in Moulton. Now for your highs today, we will rebound a little bit as the rain moves through the area. We're looking about 82 for your high in Huntsville, 83 in Decatur, 81 in Muscle Shoals and Moulton, even in Athens, 82 in Gunnersville this afternoon. If you are headed to the Trash Panda game this evening, rain chances will be going down as we head into the evening hours tonight, but I would have that rain gear with you just in case you do run into a shower or two. Temperatures all the way down to 74 degrees by 9 o'clock tonight. Here's what we're looking at right now on 31 triple Doppler. None of this is severe, but rain moving through the metro as we speak and the shoals you've been dealing with the rain for the past couple of hours. Some of this does come with lightning and some very heavy rain at times, but again, staying below severe limits. Here's a wider view showing you what's happening across the eastern half of the United States, and we have rain stretching from Kentucky all the way down into the Tennessee Valley and again, this is just round one. We'll see more rain as we head into the overnight hours tonight. So let's go ahead, time it out for you. Over the next few hours, this rain will continue to push out of the area. By 3 p.m., we'll see a break in the action. And it does look like we will stay dry through the evening hours tonight. So if you have any plans, if you're headed out to that Trash Pandas game, things are looking pretty good. By 10 o'clock tonight, though, our next round starting to move into the shoals, finally through the metro during the overnight hours tonight. Some of this could come with some thunder and lightning, but I'm not expecting severe weather from that. Now, this is the latest model run for tomorrow, keeping us relatively dry through your Saturday with just some pop up showers with the peak heating of the day. Other than that, though, your Saturday looking good if you're headed out to the Jubilee. Sunday, same story, mostly dry through the daytime hours. But as we head into Sunday night, I will be tracking our next chance of rain that comes with that cold front. Now, for the rest of the day today, level one risk of strong to severe thunderstorms, mainly west of I-65. And if we see any stronger storms, gusty winds and some large hail will be our main threat from those storms. Tornadoes very unlikely with anything that pops up over the next few days here. For your weekend forecast, if you're headed out to the Jubilee, keep that umbrella nearby. 88 tomorrow, 90 on your Sunday for that afternoon high, so it will be a warm one. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water if you're doing anything outdoors. Sunday night brings yet another risk of strong to severe thunderstorms with that level two in place for most of the Tennessee Valley. So let's walk through that together. As we move through the day on Sunday, we may see a shower or two, but I'm watching for this line that will start to form off to our west. That's ahead of that cold front. It'll move through during the overnight hours into the early morning hours on Monday. Good thing is most people will be off work for Memorial Day, so at least we won't have a lot of people on the road. But make sure that you are weather aware as we head through the early morning hours on Monday. And of course, make sure you check back through the weekend for the details on that. After that cold front pushes through, though, we will see a couple of days of break from the rain, some cooler temperatures as well. I know 80s aren't really that cool, but compared to where we've been lately, I'll take the lower 80s any day. <laughs> Low end rain chances return as we head towards next weekend. I think I'm with you. I like your strategy. I like how you're doing this. <laughs> all right. You got to take what you can get. <laughs> That's all you can do, right? <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Mm -hmm. And thanks,